So, this video was originally supposed to be, like, a fun little painting video, but everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. So, I present this monstrosity to you. <laughs> so, the first and pretty obvious mistake I made is, um, why is my canvas red? I tried to follow all the painting YouTubers that I saw and make the background a different color, but it just didn't work because I'm using acrylics and acrylics are garbage and they're very see-through. And so the red background, no matter how hard I tried, kept on seeping through. And very quickly I decided, fuck this, this isn't worth it, and I just had the background. My next mistake, and something that you might have already noticed, is that I did not smooth out the gesso. I just, I, I just streaked it on and I left it there for some reason. Why? I don't know. Anyways, I tried to do the same thing that I did with the background for the body and lo and behold, wow, who would have guessed? It didn't work. Good job, Shadi. You're doing great. This time though, I was determined to make it work, so I spent the next hour and a half just piling on acrylics. Did it work? No, but who cares? This is YouTube. Also, I want to mention that um, because I moved, I did not have my regular easel, so I had to use one of those lap desk things and hang it up on a wall. It did not work either. I cut it out in the final film, but it, it fell down multiple times <laughs> you'll see later in the video that i just switched it out but like wow my brain cells really scrubbed hard for that one so as you can see i'm using something called a canvas board instead of a stretch canvas unlike a stretch canvas canvas board is well attached to a board. And this makes it very porous and easy for water to absorb, making it very hard for paints to layer. So if you look closely, you could actually see me almost rubbing the paint in instead of brushing it on. This was another mistake on my part because this makes paints very hard to layer. So recently, I've been having a hyperfixation of the Bible? I don't know. So it is now the next day. I uh, did some touch-ups, took a nap, came back with fresh eyes, and this is what it looks like. Um, so right now, I'm just gonna be working on the hair and hopefully this will be the last day I spend painting on it. <laughs> hey, yeah, so remember at the beginning where I said that Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Everything was going great. And then within the span of like two minutes, almost all of my audio files got corrupted and all of like the real life footage of me that isn't just a speed paint got like deleted. And now I'm heartbroken. And it's like, before I had to go in and like take out all of the bugs, this video was like 12 minutes long, which isn't too bad but I'm not that entertaining. And by the end of it, the video was like eight minutes long. And that's just on the painting time lapse alone. What the fuck? Why am I painting so much? <sighs> Getting a little heated there. My bad. Enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> So, as you could probably already tell, I've moved on to the hair, and even though I'm already well into the hair, it is something I struggle with a lot. With hair, there's just so much detail that you don't see, and it's really meticulous. Luckily, this uh, model has black hair, so it wasn't too hard, but still. The technique I use to combat this is basically just a mixture of like dry brushing for the base and then doing some uh, watered down paint for the details. Also, I'm using a super long brush with a fine tip. Not everyone has access to these though, so I'd recommend just using like the edge of a brush. Worked for me.
So I spent some time cleaning up the edges and here it is. It's done, but it doesn't feel done. But I think I have an idea to fix that. So I don't know if you can see them very well, but a couple days ago, a friend of mine gave me some of her pressed flowers and I think this is exactly what the painting is missing. So I'm gonna take a couple seconds and rearrange how I want the flowers to sit. So all the flowers are glued on and I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then go ahead and pour the resin over it. Hello, it is now 6.20 a.m. and I just remembered that I have so much stuff to do today that this is basically the only time I can cast the painting. So, uh, let's get to that. <laughs> I feel like this is a good time to mention I've never used resin before. Eh, <laughs> Alia got corrupted again. Anyways, no one cares. You got a bowl, your resin, your lighter, whatever. Dave Strider Kinney, go home. Doing that fancy swirly swirl, I see. Get it, shoddy. Uh, quick PSA. Don't get this stuff on your hands. It will burn you. I, I recently learned this. Ouch. So I now have the resin all mixed up and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it over the art piece. Now that's all left to do is just to let it sit and cure. Two thousand years later. We should probably talk about this. I didn't originally plan on adding flowers to it, but when I saw them and I saw how boring the painting was by itself, I was like, yep. We're doing this. This is also my first time ever using resin in a painting, and I think it turned out pretty good. I'm actually really proud of this painting. The only thing I don't really like is how if you look closely, you can still see some of the orange base of canvas on it, but like, eh, you win some, you lose some. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you later.